Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss what does the slope of the derivative tell you. Now, as you may already know, the derivative is actually a slope already. It's the rate of change, it's the slope of um, a function. And so when you have the slope of the derivative, you're actually talking about the slope of a slope, or the rate of change of the rate of change. Now, that sounds a little, might sound a little weird at first, but what you're really doing is the more derivatives that you take, the more inside you can go uh, that of a function or a process. So the idea here is, the derivative is f prime of x. So the slope of the derivative means the slope of the slope, which means the derivative of the derivative, which is f double prime of x. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, it really depends on what kind of scenarios that you're exploring. For example, if you're talking about speed, velocity, and acceleration, for speed, you tend to have s of t. Velocity is the derivative of the speed function, but then you also have the acceleration function, which is the derivative of the velocity, which is also the second derivative of the s function, the speed function. Now, so in the second derivative, the slope of the derivative, and when it comes to studying speed, velocity, and acceleration, the second derivative is actually the acceleration. Now, in business sense, for example, in a business scenario, the second derivative can talk about what the point of diminishing returns would be. Now, what that can mean is it might, you might want to explore the point at which, for example, your revenue or your profit does not quite match the prior years, or in other words, the revenue or profit might be lower than the prior years. In other words, you're still making money or a profit, but the amount might not be as high as the year before, and that's why they call it diminishing returns. So depending on what it is, the second derivative can actually tell you quite a bit. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that addresses what does the slope of the derivative mean.